Welcome to the brachial plexus, drawn and summarised in 60 seconds. We'll begin with the C5 to T1 nerve roots emerging from the spinal cord, which combine to form three trunks with the C7 root continuing alone. These trunks emerge between the anterior and middle scalene muscles of the neck. We then come to the divisions, and every trunk gives off both an anterior and posterior division. It's easiest to start by combining all the posterior fibres in the middle, and then remembering to take the middle ones upwards. We then need to form three cords, which lie lateral, posterior, and medial to the axillary artery. Then lastly, we have our terminal branches. The lateral cord becomes the musculocutaneous nerve, supplying the major arm flexors. The medial cord becomes the ulnar nerve, innervating most of the intrinsic hand muscles and a few forearm flexors. These medial and lateral roots combine to form the median nerve with this classic M shape, which also does some of the muscles of the hand and most forearm flexors. Moving back to the posterior cord, it gives rise to the radial and axillary nerves. The radial nerve controls the extension of the arm and forearm, while the axillary nerve supplies teres minor and deltoid. 